What up everyone, CSS Coder here. Now, WWDC 19 has just happened, and obviously we've gone over some of the awesome features which we're gonna be seeing in iOS 13. Hopefully we should see the release around September time as we did last year. But some of the key features which I'm absolutely buzzing about, in my honest opinion, always pretty much are taken from the jailbreak community and Cydia tweaks, you know, like the dark mode, which we're gonna get as well, which is absolutely fantastic on the iPhone. We've never had it before unless you were jailbroken. We've had it on the Mac OS, uh, which I personally use all the time and absolutely freaking love but now we're actually gonna see that on iPhones as well. So the actual dark mode is gonna be completely throughout the whole of the operating system. We hope that there's no bits left out because it will just be weird if you're in light mode on one bit and dark mode on another. If we see complete OS overhaul of dark mode, that is gonna be fantastic. And it's gonna be something I'm actually really gonna look forward to seeing as well. So we're also gonna get the swipey keyboard as well, where you just move your finger across the keyboard and in effect it also predicts what you're actually going to type. I've never really been a fan of it. It has been a jailbreak tweak in the past. Never really used it. I've tested it out just for like tutorials and videos and that. But obviously it's overly used on the Android OS as well. To me, I mean, it's it's a good little innovation. It's something that we haven't had before. So, and a lot of you one-handed users will probably absolutely love it. Now with the whole of the market with mobile phones and that being so much camera orientated, we can get a lot more editing features in iOS. 13 as well and also with video now one of the biggest things if you have probably captured your video in portrait mode and you want it in landscape you need to then get an app which you then need to rotate it you probably need to pay 1.99 to get rid of the adverts or the watermark on the exported video but you're going to get this as default in ios 13 so you're simply going to be able to rotate from that to that from within the actual native application. Now, Find My Friends is gonna be getting a big update as well. My son uses it and his mother uses it to track him and everything like that, which is really good. It can say the exact precise location they are, how long they've been there, when they've left the location, and hopefully we're gonna see integrated features like this in Find My Friends on the actual iOS application as well, which will be absolutely fantastic. And obviously brings a bit of like safety and peace of mind when your kids or your friends or you wanna see where your ex-girlfriend is or your current girlfriend or your wife or yeah it's all a bit weird but it can be used for good things seeing exactly where your kids are when they're out and about when they've reached a location when they've left the location so i can't wait to actually test out that feature so on some third party applications and email addresses required for you to gain access or you can obviously sign in with facebook or sign in with google with which is obviously your email address but now soon you're going to be able to sign it in with apple so it's not actually sharing your email address so you're probably not then going to get spammed with loads of other third party stolen or bloody sold email addresses filling your inbox up with absolute tons of junk so that's a good feature if you obviously use it with facebook already to sign in that's good but then your facebook seems to be overloaded with stuff that you've actually signed into from the third party applications so maybe it's going to cut down all the spam and all the junk on actual signing in with Apple itself. So Siri is also gonna get an update. As we know, Siri is pretty much awful. And the way that it speaks to you and answers your questions is very robotic, very broken, and just sounds awful, to be honest. So it's gonna become more natural and more fluent and better understanding what you're actually asking and give you better results from within the Siri app. So obviously it's never gonna be as good as say Alexa or something like that, or the obviously the Google Assistant, which I actually use on my Google Home and it's absolutely fantastic and pretty much always works. Now because of Siri being so crap, I just pretty much don't use it now, unless it's just to set a quick reminder, but anything important, I'll actually open up and type it in. Using the swipey keyboard if I want in iOS 13, but I don't, I, I... So also your native mail application is gonna get a complete overhaul as well, so that should work a lot better. Your reminders app is gonna also get better, so you can actually set locations in there as well, which will obviously use then your GPS to send you the reminder uh, from within your notes to actually do something, whatever you've written or whatever you've asked Siri 
to tell you actually at that location. So another thing for iPad users, we are now gonna separate the iOS 13. So we're gonna have iPad OS, then obviously the iOS for all our iDevices, our iPhones and iPod touches as well. So it's now separate, but they are still gonna to talk together. Everyone goes on about the Apple ecosystem. So you've got no worries about that. Everything from your watch to your MacBook, to your iMac, to your phone, to your HomePod, everything is still gonna be talking as it did before, but they're just gonna have a dedicated OS actually for iPads, and that's called iPad OS. Now, a few good features which you won't actually necessarily see, but you will realize that as soon as you open your phone with your face, it's gonna be actually up to 30% faster. It's gonna speed up your whole phone as well. And also with battery charging as well, they've completely relooked and redesigned the battery management on iDevices. So, it won't actually, if you're charging your phone, it will go up to 80% and pretty much stay there um, until you start using your phone, if that makes sense. As in the longer that your phone spends on 100% while plugged in, that can potentially reduce the lifespan of your phone and obviously degrade the battery, requiring a replacement and normally over your two year period just as your contract ends. That's a good Apple innovation. I, I, I like it, I do. I think it's a clever idea. As we've already touched on in the camera app with the actual video, with the rotation of it, the actual portrait modes are gonna get a little tweak into as well. So you can actually change some of the features in there. Now, the first couple of features on the portrait mode are pretty decent. The last two, three are pretty much awful. Never been a fan. So they, they've looked into that. And if you see the stage light, you can actually now gonna be able to adjust the actual intensity of the light. So it's not just directly on your face, like you've done a real awful Photoshop. It's actually gonna be spread out a lot more and may give a much better effect and a better look. Apple really need to up their game when it comes to camera, editors, applications, because yeah, they're okay and the video is really good. But then you've got the likes of the P30 Pro by Huawei, which is absolutely storming ahead in all phone comparisons. So it's good that Apple are bringing the ability to edit and change a lot more to do with your actual final image or even prior to taking or post image as well. So there are other HomePod features as well, better integration, but I'm gonna go through this in a more in depth uh, with you coming up in a few days. These are just some of my top features which have been released for iOS 13. Now remember it's in beta at the moment. Don't try and get a developer account and put it on your phone and just wait till the gold version comes out, hopefully in September time. Now in the meantime, you can obviously still jailbreak your phone if you're up to 12.1.2. I believe there's something in the pipeline for later OS is your 12.2s. Um, and above, so just wait for that. But if you still do want to jailbreak your phone, then do not ever update to iOS 13 until the developers, say like Pawn to Own, comes out and tells you that there is a jailbreak ready for 13, which I'm pretty sure there will be. So until then, jailbreak your phone, get dark mode, absolutely mint. Might even do a video on it. Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you like these iOS 13 features. Can't wait for it, looking forward to it. I don't know whether to do it though. Cause I've got a jailbreak at the moment and I love my jailbreak. Are you jailbroken? Do you just stay on the stock OS? Are you looking forward to iOS 13 and watch your favorite features coming up in the September release? So that's it, it's DSS Coder, thanks very much. See you on the next video. Check out my other videos, I've got some competitions going on at the moment. So uh, they're all free, worldwide, good to go. I'll link the video up there, see ya.